hello, this is Michelle Knight and this is your Aries monthly May astrology. The highlights of this month are we have a new moon and it's going to give you a new opportunity when it comes to your finances. Also, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, going retrograde, going backwards. So watch out, there could be many communication problems. And finally, we have a cardinal grand cross, bringing about perhaps a conflict within your soul about going for a dream. But this challenge will be worth its weight in gold. Here's your monthly astrology. Aries this month is quite interesting because it offers you the opportunity to really go for your dream. However, like any good quest, there is a lot of challenges along the way, including when we get to the crescendo of the month, but that's where the magic happens. But let's begin at the beginning. Mercury, the planet of communication, is going into the position in your chart of communication. This is brilliant, certainly up to the 19th, because you have the gift of the gab. Your words are like magic. You're able to express your ideas, you have a zillion ideas anyway, and that's because Mars, your ruler, is also going into that position. And you're desperate and excited and, and full of beans to get those ideas out there. Do it with love, do it with grace, but certainly your ideas are the key this month. Now bear in mind, on the 19th, Mercury, the planet of communication, is going retrograde, is going backwards. And that's a time when ideas can get confused, other people can interfere. People say one thing, they mean another. There's a lot of cross wires. And it's important for you at that point to go, mm, I believe in my ideas, but I'm just gonna watch and observe what's going on. I know that's challenging for you, but actually it's really relevant to your quest this month. Now there's a full moon in May, and this full moon is in your position of secrets and unearthing the mysteries, but also having quite primal emotions, gut feelings and intuitions. Now this full moon is also important in unlocking a part of your journey. You can see it a bit like a computer game. This is a big test. It's one of those platforms, this full moon, that could reveal something if you capture the treasure. And that treasure lays within your heart because the secret of this full primal moon is that perhaps rather than unearthing a secret in someone else, you're unearthing a secret in your own heart. Is there something that you've been hiding from yourself? Is there something, a primal emotion that you haven't wanted to face? Allow yourself to face it with this full moon and you will have part of the answer for your big quest later on in the month. Now there's also a new moon in May and this new moon is exciting because it offers you a brand new cycle. I love new moons because they allow us to let go of something, to release something and to move on to the next vibrational level. And for you, it's all about security and finance and being able to feel strong in the world. So it could be with this new moon that you let go of a strategy or an idea connected to finance and security and you come up with something new. It's also a great time to cast a wish and put your ideas out there and just say, do you know what? Okay, things haven't worked out for me. Today is the first day of the rest of my life and it's onwards. Now Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility, is opposing the Sun and this can feel a little bit oppressive. There may be a part of you with Saturn in the position of adventure that wants to transform and change and spread yourself and, and leap into lots of new ideas and different things. But Saturn is saying, please be cautious what you commit to because what you commit to, particularly if it involves kind of study or travel or expressing your unique soul, you know, it may last a long time and you might change your mind. You're, the sun is going, I'm optimistic, I've got all these ideas, but Saturn's going, hang on a minute. You know, you need to be sure about how you're stretching yourself and where you want to put your energy. Then we come up with the challenges. We have some grand cross energy and there's a part of you kind of struggling to find your identity and who you are and how you can express yourself authentically. Now you're very bold, you're very brazen, you're a very optimistic person, but when you are being pulled this way and that way, what a lot of 
people don't know about you is that you can suffer from insecurity. Not that you'd ever show it, only your nearest and dearest do you show your soft underbelly of vulnerability to. But this cross energy is allowing you to understand yourself and actually allowing you to discover that your vulnerability is in fact your strength. Now, if you think of any Hollywood movie, there's normally a point when the hero goes through a crisis of faith and actually shows their vulnerability and their weakness. And that is the turning point before they reach their goal and truly come into their strength. And in a way, you can see those grand crosses like that. Now, part of that cross energy is about how secure you are on your own two feet, how much power you give away in your relationships. Again, no one would know that about you. But, you know, are you looking for validation from your nearest and dearest? Are you giving enough validation to other people in your life? Are you bigging people up? How is your insecurity affecting how you relate to the people around you when they succeed? But how do you feel in your heart? And how can you move forward actually asking people for support? You're balancing your need to achieve with your need for security and all of those other things. You're kind of, kind of bringing it full circle, if you like. Now, at the end of this month on the 31st, I believe there's a double pentacle or pentagram. Now this, if you take in Eris, Juno and Chiron, is a very powerful moment. Now, some astrologers aren't particularly interested in Eris, Juno and Chiron, but for me, I feel that these are helping us discover our deeper spiritual self and to awaken to who we are, particularly in our relationships with other people, and also our soul, our wounded healer within. This particular pentagram shows us that we can achieve our dreams, but as everybody knows, there's some harsh angles within that. It doesn't mean we're gonna achieve our dreams this month, but it could be that we're presented with the right set of circumstances and challenges, to be honest, to be able to see the bigger picture and to cast out our dreams and to understand and remember who we are as a manifester. So you will be the hero at the end of this journey, but you may not get your prize immediately in May, but you really are on your way. If you are brave, if you are honest, if you're open about your vulnerability, if your heart is open and honest when you talk to other people, and most importantly, when you talk to yourself. Fascinating month. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. If you love astrology, please come and visit my website, horoscope.co.uk, where there is loads of fabulous information and much more written detail on your monthly astrology. And I know Mercury is going retrograde, and I'm probably the worst time to ask, but if you love this, please, it'd be great if you could subscribe. Just click the subscribe button. Lots of love.